Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your June 3rd through June 17th reading. It's a bi-weekly reading. I've already pulled the cards. Yes, it's a little late, but I'm here to do it for you guys. Alright, so let's jump right in. We'll save the announcements to the end. Uh, five cards spread for love and romance. The first card is you, right where you are, the messenger of fire, okay? So you're moving quickly in regards to something. You may be in and out of something. You may be hot and cold about things. You may be on fire about a certain person, a certain situation, and then you're out. And then you're in, and then you're out. You could be promiscuous. I don't know. You could just be dating, you know. Uh, are you on your right path? The Fool. Wow. Starting over. The Zero card. So it looks like you, if you weren't, you are now. You, you are at the full energy. This is charting a new development, going in a different direction, starting completely over. What's your main obstacle here? The Eight of Air. You feeling stuck and tied and bound to a situation, which could very well be... Um, to maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, your thoughts just keep going over a situation or going back to. You just don't see a way out. You keep thinking about what, well, what if, and what come, and what you know. Your thoughts are going. You know they're they're cyclical. They're going in a in a, a cycle uh, in a circle. Uh, you've got to jump out of that circle, get off that merry-go-round, and, and get into actually devising a plan, whatever that may look like. Uh, what's helping you is the page of Earth. Maybe that uh, messages of stability, maybe from a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, doesn't have to be Sun, Moon, or Rising. Message, a message of stability is elsewhere. Um, you know that you can build upon something else elsewhere and that's what's helping you you know that there is an option you just can't devise a plan of action to get to that option or to actually full-on move into this new opportunity uh, how can progress be made the high priestess listen to your intuition listen to your heart be true to you uh, so before the high priestess, we have the magician. That's manifesting. That's putting your intentions out to the universe. Saying those prayers. Uh, doing whatever magic you do. Magic is so many forms. Um, prayer is a form of magic. Whatever it is you do to, to make things happen in your life outside of yourself. Uh, spiritually. So what this says is you... How can progress be made? Okay, so there are certain things in life that will not come to us or will not fully manifest until we rely heavily on a power outside of ourselves. You can call that God. You can call that whatever. But you have to surrender to, to knowing that um, there is a supreme being. Trust and believe that they will give you the desires of your heart. Make sure your heart is right and correct rooted and grounded in righteousness first you don't want to be a sour person we'll say that and and you want god to give you sour things might not happen i don't know you hey do you um there's a the spiritual element here if you want things to happen or move in your favor if you want to get out of and get off of the merry-go-round, the eight of air, uh, you're going to have to get some type of spirituality about yourself, whatever that may be for you. Uh, bottom of the deck, seven of earth, seven of pentacles. You keep looking backwards. Um, some of you have invested time, energy, money into a situation, into a person, into a relationship. You're looking at what you're leaving or you're looking at what did not manifest for you. And that's why you're at the full. You're ready to take a step in a new direction. Maybe from a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Alright, so career and finance. The Hermit is right where you are. So you've gone within. Some of you might be trying to save money. And try to do things differently. Uh, draw from past and recent experience. 
and say you know I did this and I did that and this happened so I'm not going to do this I'm not going to do that I am I will do this and do that and you know maybe I'll get a different outcome that's what the hermit does they learn by self-reflection um also listening to spirit but definitely self-reflection here uh, are you on your correct path ace of cups uh spirit god heaven whatever you call it your angels ancestors are working with you so that you can get spiritually grounded so you can be on your correct path because it might be a new love or new friendship here for you um, or just something that fulfills you on an emotional level you may even do some type of social work counseling therapist therapy psychotherapist tarot card reader you, you deal with people and issues okay and you have to this this type of work fulfills you but you're also looking at how you, you have to preserve yourself and your money okay uh, main obstacle could be a Leo for some of you the strength card is here your obstacle is needing to tame yourself And I think this is what this Herman is about. For some of you, it's taming yourself financially. You know, just because you have the money that means spend it. Think about tomorrow. So, you know, so you need to tame yourself. Uh, some of you need to tame yourself in the workplace. What's helping you? The Page of Pentacles in the same position. Wow. There's a message of stability here, especially in, in your career and finance. It might be that something else on a different path will fulfill you or it, um, you can build upon this. For some of you, it's self-employment. It's something you're doing outside of maybe a nine to five. If you actually put real work into this, this could actually happen for you. Uh, how can progress be made? The chariot, yes, move forward. Um, some of you can be dealing with the cancer, cancerian person. This one, once again, talks about control, getting it, you know, strength, control yourself, getting in control, getting in, in control of the light and the dark, moving forward, um, getting in control of your thoughts. You know, like you, sometimes you'll, you'll say, oh yeah, you know, I, I want to start that business. I can do this and do that. And. And then you go to work on Monday and it, you completely forget about, you know, all these grand ideas and you aren't really putting the time effort into. It. No, get in control of that. If this is what you want to do, then you think about this business day in, day, day and night. You wake up and you think about it. You write things, you look at things, you research, you talk to other people. If you want to make this happen, only you can make it happen. The chariot holds one take you forward in whatever you're trying to manifest and then the bottom of the deck the high priestess yeah this can happen for you some of you do spiritual work um yeah some of you do spiritual work and also this this whatever this is can happen for you if you allow spirit to help um and hold on to your ideas and your plans to everyone that need to know what you're doing and how you're doing it um Everyone can't be involved. That's what I just heard. Like, you want everybody to be involved, or you, you want to take friends along. It might be that you have to do this alone. All right. So, additional advice: spiritual growth. <laughs> That's all we've been talking about. Yeah, spiritual growth. We don't have to harp on that. We let's move right along. Healthcare change. Get a second, third opinion about whatever's going on with you. The eight of air. Uh, sometimes this could be uh, recent surgery or diagnosis, and um, you're really thinking about this healthcare change. Get second, third opinion. Okay. Yes, our healthcare officials have gone through much schooling. They they know what they know, but you know your body better than anyone. So if you feel like uh, it is this and it's not that second third opinion okay all right move right along 
forgiveness nice i think this comes with this ace of cups you either need to ask for forgiveness because it looks like in your your relationship sector you want to move away from you need to ask for forgiveness or you need to give grant forgiveness to someone or they need to grant it to you all right dietary change right with this health care change and this aid of air yeah and control here bacteria and the strength card just because it looks good it tastes good it's what you've been eating for years doesn't mean that okay just keep doing it get it some of you this is veganism vegetarianism uh pescatarianism whatever you know get in control of your diet if you need to change that um restrictions all right last card parental care all right so for some of you you need to go backwards you need to be concerned about your parent or your parents uh and then for some of you you are parents and you need to be this page of earth here twice some of you are concerned about your children parental care they may even be young adults or or adult or grown ass adults you know <laughs> but some parental care needs to be uh taken here um whatever that looks like so if you've been thinking about oh you know i need to go talk to my son my daughter about x y and z i really don't want to do it because i just really don't need the stress the cards say yes go and be a parent we can't run away from that you still parent even when you're 60 and you're 30 you know um go and be a parent all right relationship dynamics at the bottom of the deck a relationship has altered changed morphed because one aspect one dynamic or maybe more dynamics of the relationship have changed someone's entered exited the relationship Feelings are heightened. Emotions are heightened now. Things have changed. Do not try to run from the change or push down the change. Uh, address it. Uh, someone else may be in the picture. Third party situation. All right. So, Sagittarius, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you once again for tuning in. Take advantage of the $20 special three clear questions for twenty dollars okay um find me on insta go instagram uh just instagram is just so you get a, a little snapshot of my life and, and me and so people so many people are concerned about you know how i look or whatever why i don't put my face in in my readings go over and you know take a, a, a look at that if you want to if you care to whatever um but it's not to request readings. Do not go over to Instagram or my personal Instagram and request a reading. I will just direct you back to either my tarot card reading Instagram or I'll ask you to send me an email. Okay? So that's not what that platform is for. Okay? All right. So remember Sagittarius, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. I'll see you in your June, mid-June readings. All right? Take care, guys.